Yeah, and the chief here in Ormond Beach thinks this is a case of sloppy police work as opposed to theft in his evidence department. FDLE did do an investigation and found no criminal wrongdoing. However, the chief says his primary evidence custodian and two subordinates underneath her violated department policy. Evidence envelopes with some narcotic was tampered with and the narcotic was missing. Ormond Beach Police Chief Jesse Godfrey says that's what a member of command staff doing a routine audit of the evidence room discovered last year, which led to a larger investigation. 185 cases had some type of discrepancy, items unaccounted for, items improperly filed, items not on the electronic inventory but currently on the shelf, or items currently on the shelf but in the wrong location. And some of those items include narcotics. In my heart of hearts, I, I think it was improperly destroyed. Um, the individuals were drug tested. They all showed no signs of drug use. The chief says they have discovered the custodian was improperly destroying evidence, not following the process laid out in the state statute. Since the audit, they have accounted for some missing items, but 123 total items remain unaccounted for. Besides some narcotics missing from evidence, photographs, paperwork, costume jewelry are gone, possibly, says the chief, improperly destroyed. Police say they may yet find additional missing items of evidence due to improper procedure, but that they're already making big evidence room changes, including adding more cameras. We've already started tweaking our policy and making the disposal process uh, more witnesses involved. And, and more documentation. Mm. Ormond Beach check with the state attorney's office. No current or active criminal cases have been impacted by those missing evidence items. Again, the chief custodian fired and the two people working in the evidence room with her were counseled for their part in all of this. We're live in Ormond Beach, Volusia County. Claire Metz, West 2 News. Claire